solving that problem is 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 I think largely a state level a state level issue, uh, but I do think there are things the federal government can do. For example, you know we should uh, remove or lighten uh, uh, tariffs that we put on on building supplies that I think are contributing to high building costs right now. Concrete is is particularly high. Uh, lumber, same thing. You know there are uh, there are uh, changes that we can make, lifting some of the the Trump era, uh, Trump era tariffs and other tariffs that we have on those supplies. You know, I, I think much of the the rest of uh, of the issue is is best dealt with at the local issue at the local level because each dynamic or each each location is a little bit different. Um, but you know, I I think that. You know, we, we need to increase the availability of housing in Utah, and, and that housing probably looks different than um, than it has in the past. Meaning, you know, we need to you know we need to to uh, in my opinion ensure that there are um, that there is housing for young professionals to to purchase to you know buy their first homes and and. And more of that, and and that can be condominiums, for example. You know, that's that's how many people in in other places get their start in the housing market is to buy a condominium first, and then they're able to buy a home after that. You know, in in Utah, you know, we've we've struggled with that. I mean, you sort of start out in a home, or you don't start out at all. You know, think that's going that's going to need to change because more and more people are moving here. We have uh, many of our companies are succeeding and going public, and you know, all of that. You know, increases housing prices in in the state, and so we have to increase the availability of housing, and and we need to think, um, you know, we need to think about what kind of housing that should be to ensure that people can get into a, a, a starter home.